Hey guys, Vizello here. So Smash Ultimate will be launching on the Nintendo Switch on December 7th, and I know a lot of people are really, really hyped for that game, and it makes sense because Smash Ultimate is by far the biggest game in the franchise. I mean, it's going to have every single character that's ever been in a Smash game in one game, and plus, then plus more. So that's really, really impressive and a very different way to take on this new Smash game. And I really do commend Nintendo for giving what fans of the series really want. But also something that fans of the series really do want would be a GameCube adapter or a GameCube controller. Because when Smash 4 launched, Nintendo released a GameCube adapter that basically allowed you to just plug in a, re like a redesign of the GameCube controller. Or you could plug in an original GameCube controller into it. And you could use it on the Wii U. And it was a really cool concept. And I know a lot of people really liked it. Because first off, Melee... One of the things that made Melee so great was that the GameCube controller, at least in my opinion, added to it. It was an amazing way to play Smash. And having being able to use that on the Wii U made the Smash 4 way better. Because now you can use the original Melee controller on your brand new console. And you can play a brand new Smash game. This also meant that if you were really into Melee and you just study the controls all day and you really practice on getting them right, you wouldn't have to completely relearn a brand new console. You could just use the exact same controller, which was very helpful for a lot of people. Well, PDP is stepping in to fix the gap with Smash Ultimate. Basically, what's going to be happening is they are going to be releasing around the time of Smash 5, around when it launches around December 7th, they are going to be releasing a GameCube themed controller for the Switch and it plugs in via USB, it is wired, and it looks really cool. So I don't know how many styles are going to be for this controller. Right now the only pictures I see are three, and that would be this Pikachu one, which I actually really do like, a Legend of Zelda themed the blue one, and also a Red Mario one. And that's the only three pictures that I can find for them right now. I don't know if there will be more, but I'm pretty sure those are the only three, at least right now. And, and being honest, I really do like the design. I think one of my favorite parts is that you have the logo in the center, and I really like how it looks. You know, just especially the Pikachu one. I don't know why I like that one so much. And then also the Legend of Zelda one having the shield looks really interesting too. And I think that those different like styles of having things in the center is a different concept to take on. And I think a lot of people are going to like this design. Something else that PDP added is that there is also a swappable C-Stick. So if you want to swap out the C-Stick, now you can on this controller. Which I guess that would offer more options to get really creative with how you want this thing to look. And I guess if you even want it to feel differently, I think that would be a very helpful thing for a lot of people. Because I know a lot of people don't. Well, aren't really that, that big fans of the C-Sticks and they'll want to swap it out with something else. Like, maybe they just don't like the whole wave pattern on it and they want to put in maybe a more flat pattern. Now you can do that, which, that's a really, really interesting thing to add. I don't know if I'll, I, I don't know if I'll do that. I kind of like how the C-Stick feels. But, you know, if you really want to get creative, you can. And being completely honest, in my opinion, I would pick up this controller, at least from what I can see, it might not be as good as it looks, or maybe even better, I would pick up this controller definitely over the Pro Controller, because I really like how the GameCube controller feels, and I, ho I have a feeling that the price is not going to be that expensive. There, I haven't seen much on the price yet, but I feel like it's going to be around the $40 to $50 price range, instead of $70 for the actual Pro Controller, which you could spend that money on something like Smash Ultimate. But yeah, this controller looks amazing in my opinion, and I think a lot of people are going to like that you can now use a GameCube controller on the Switch. I think though that the biggest problem is that it's wired, and what that means is that you're probably not going to be able to use it on when you're in portable mode. Unless you can get like a USB-C to A adapter, you are just going to have to use it in docked, which I know a lot of people are probably going to be playing Ultimate in docked mode. But I kind of wish it was wireless so then you could connect it maybe like wirelessly when you're in portable mode and then you wouldn't have to, uh, you wouldn't, you would just be able to play it in portable mode and you also, in docked mode, you wouldn't have to plug it in. It is nice that the cable is long, being 10 feet long, which is pretty good, but the only thing is that still in portable mode, I don't think you can use it unless you get a C to A adapter. 
But anyways, what do you think of this controller? Let me know in the comments. Do you like the whole idea of using a GameCube controller on the Switch? And do you think that you're going to pick this thing up? Are you going to adjust the C-Stick? Are you going to use it for Smash Ultimate? Like I said, let me know in the comments. I appreciate all of your support, and I hope you did enjoy this video, and see you.